Yo, so we got a sexy red interview I want to check out, man, on Men Dog Worth the Game. Um, Wallo and Gilly are actually one of my favorite top people that do interviews simply because they not messy, bro. Um, that's really just about it. They uh they funny as hell, honestly. Uh that's just really about it. They don't really be getting into no drama, so it just be like all neutral. Except for that Joe Budden interview, which was hilarious, bro. I ain't go cap. But this just dropped 12 hours ago. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit 100K before this day ends because it's at 92K. Uh, if y'all want a part two, I'm just do part one right now. Just to see how it goes. See if I'm even feeling it or not. But if y'all want a part two, let me know. You know, I'll do part two. That's nothing. Or I might just do it anyway. Who knows? But uh, like I said, depending on how it goes. But with all that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Let's get into it and see what's to it. Million dollars worth of game, yeah. listeners out there. If it's million dollars worth of game you're watching, if it's Gilly on Sports, you're watching. If it's Adventures you're watching, if it's Where's Wallow, we wild and share. Comment, aye, aye, aye. likes you a lot. All right, all right. Look, I like they uh they love sad stuff too though. The sports and all that stuff. That stuff decent. And she <laughs> it up when she came to. Listen, man. Ski. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> it up when she came to Gilly Fest. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. She that up when she came they to Gilly Fest. They made me mad. Just standing there. No, it's cool. No, they, they was like, high, but they had never heard that one before. I don't For think. Real? One of the songs you did it, and they had never heard it, so they was trying to listen to it. And they, my people was like, they was tired because they was there all night waiting. Yeah. yeah, but listen, man. Y'all now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Yes. We got Big Sexy up here. You know. It's yes. going down. Y'all know what it is. Yes. St. Louis in the building, man. You know. Yes. It. Listen, man. In the get, building. I want to ask her a question. Do the dreads heads really do it the best? Because my wife, she disagreed. <laughs> she said the ball head. Yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> I, heard, I heard the ball head do it the best too. Oh, you just never had one. <laughs> never had one. They be, they be always saying, what about the fades and ball heads and stuff? Yeah. I guess all these just know what they're doing. Did you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think you was going to be here today, like on a, on a, the level you on in the game? Did you think, coming about a St. Louis, you said, I'm gonna turn it up and I'm gonna be that? Yeah. I knew it, because I be like, when I manifest stuff, it be coming true. And I'm like, I just can't wait for the world to see, like, and they see now. Yeah, before before this music thing, they said you was out there in St. Louis doing your thing. You was hustling, doing your, what, what, what was life like for you then? Like, um, I was doing her, I was doing a lot of her. I just was on my shit, and then at one point hey, I fell hear, off a little bit, you know. I, just hear other people talk with they accent be crazy. Her, like we say Ka in Chicago, so some people be like, bro, you say Ka funny as hell, but it's just, it's a Ka, you know what I'm saying? But um, I don't listen to Sexy Red, bro, but like her personality and shit is just like, it be just worth tapping in. You know, some people you like for just them. Some people you like for their music. Some people you don't like at all. So for me, it's just, I don't mind seeing if she if she speaking regular, not when she do like the ratchet shit, you know what I'm saying? Our people had a moment where they just be like, not in it for real, like not that motivated. And then that's when I start rapping and then I got back up there. Who 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 really put you on the rap? Um, like to start rapping? Yeah. I started rapping because my baby daddy. I knew she was oh, gonna man. say that. Anything was resort back to that. Can you yeah. Hell of a, <laughs> hell of a what, guy. What's his name? <laughs> Shut that. <laughs> up. He's a hell I of a. Say, well, I just always he hear say, my baby oh, my daddy, because my baby daddy, <laughs> yeah. my baby, he laid her down and sprayed her down. Yeah, he was spitting. <laughs> Listen, he was spitting. He was doing music himself. No, he, he was a cheater, and I made a diss song about him. Okay. And then I showed him the diss song. He like, damn, that motherfucker hard. So we'd be in the car pulling up on his friends. So he like rapped the song to them, showed them your song. And then they was like, oh, you know how to rap. So that's when I just made a real song. Gee, now him just turned the negative into a positive. That's crazy. He said, shit, you talk good shit about me, but that shit really hard as hell. He playing that shit. I made he play that shit around the hood today. This episode of me and I was worth a game. Oh, my soul, I know you do. Or the extra crap. Get you some. And it was up after that. It all started. It was up after that. All started because he was cracking some crab legs. Yeah, he was cracking some <laughs> crab legs. Over. Dip some extra crab you legs okay. and some butter. Yeah. She went yeah. right to the booth. Uh -huh. yeah. You ain't sh my yeah. baby daddy. I was daddy. talking big. You was talking big. I was talking about the girl. I was talking big. Man, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't made her your op. She ain't even know, huh? She knew. She knew. Yeah. Well, she knew that was knew. your baby daddy. It wasn't my baby daddy then. It was uh -huh. my. And yeah, she knew about me. That, that bitch. I hate that hoe. I still hate her. Damn. 
How do you, how do you deal with all the, you know, we, we live in a time where I'm weird though. Sometimes a woman can't have a voice. How do you deal with all the criticism? You know, you're a woman, you're a girl, you're pregnant, you're trying to, you know, do you read this stuff? Do like, how do you feel about all the criticism from everybody that got something to say so much? I see everything and I just feel like, why is y'all so invested in other people's life? Like, that's lame to me. Like, let people live their life. Shouldn't nobody have nothing to say about the next person hustle or how they getting it, how they get it, like. They be oh my soul, bro. Go get you some motherfucking money. Why are you worried about what the next person doing? Seriously. Look at that shit. If you got something, you either shrug or shake your head. Whatever you want to do, then go get you some motherfucking money. Why are you sitting here worried about what they doing, bro? That shit is lame. You going to crash. Your ass going to crash trying to look in that rear view mirror and seeing if they driving straight or however they driving, judging them. Bitch, go get some money. He had nothing to say about the next person hustle or how they getting it, how they get it, like. They be pissing me off with that. But I see everything. They always got me in the blogs. They be in the comments talking about me. Even if it don't got nothing to do with me, my name get brought up somehow. I see it all. And you just be ducking and you like, I don't care. I be nonchalant to the Like, I see it, but it don't phase me. It don't make me want to go. It don't make me sad. Like, damn, that's how they feel about me. Like, I don't be kind. Because they don't know me. So I, it don't like, I be like, they don't know me for real. They just talk. I feel like coming from that gutter, man, that's. That shit builds you up to be super yeah. tough, man. Yeah, you, for real. You like, have tough skin, man. Yeah, like, that ain't my first time hearing none of the I saying, so it's like, I don't, it don't faze me at all. Now, back in the day when we grew up, you know, because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people be acting like they all shocked about what's going on right now. And to me, I just be like, damn, people be tripping. It's like, you know, you hear a lot of older cats talk about the young boys all the time. Uh -huh. and you hear a lot of older women talking about the young girls yeah. all the time. Like, oh, my life was perfect. We wasn't like that. Uh -huh. We was doing dumb shit. We was right. young. Right. The young doing dumb shit. It's the same. Right. We can't try to it's measure it and say, oh, your dumb shit is worse than my dumb shit, but we was doing dumb shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's uh, stupid. To we, me. The same people that might criticize and say stuff, they was the same ones popping their ass in the club listening to Luke. Shout out to Luke Campbell. Shout out to Two Live Crew because they went to the court. They were, yeah, that, but I'm talking about before her. Shout yeah. out to Luke because Luke went to court. They was trying to lock him the fuck up. I remember that. Talking about women popping their coochie and popping it. You know, he, he really went through the whole system. He fought oh. so people can have freedom of speech and they can rap whatever they want to rap. But it seemed like sometimes, you know, you would see somebody in the comments, you be like, come on, Keisha, stop playing. You was popping that ass when we was in the club back <laughs> right. in the day. Right. You, you know you was right. a hoe. You, you keep trying to act like you wasn't. You right. know what I mean? still a hoe. Yeah, you know what I mean? You trying to act like you like you better than muff you the whole Eagles locker room. That's what I'm saying. He was that freak nigga going crazy. They be killing me. I be like, oh, they was that freak. I'm telling you. I'm like, I be sitting there like, hold up. Are you like, and then it's like, you know, it, but you know, but you the worst motherfucker in the world. And they hey, he right though. It's like people do compare they dumb shit being worse than some other dumb shit. Like we all done dumb shit, bro. But that shit is a cycle. Like uh, Sasha Red said, when she get older and she gonna really see what them kids be doing, cause they looking up to this shit. So that's why, the, first off, that's the reason why it's getting worse. Uh, but when she see what they doing, she gonna be like, bro, y'all, y'all different. Y'all different as hell. Like, and then it's like, you know, it, but you know, but you the worst motherfucker in the world and they done done everything. They lived that's out this I'm whole, saying. they lived out, X-rated shit. So it's, it's just real crazy and critical about the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. And especially, I know sometimes it hurt when it comes from your own people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, Floyd Mayweather said something one time. He said, man, I got to the point. I was like, fuck it. Because it seemed like it's my own people just want to tear me down. Yeah. It ain't nobody else saying nothing. It's just us. Like, and, um, you know, it's like, it, it's good that you're strong enough to deal with that and go through especially all that Especially being shit. a woman in the game. Because yeah. uh, I'm going to keep it all the way real. There's a lot of sensitive n in this game. Mm-hmm. These be these be so sensitive, yeah. you know, that they call you and tell you, like, you, you, man, you hurt my feelings. Yeah, they tell us that shit all the time. It's like, bro, I ain't even say nothing. I just said some regular <laughs> shit, man. You mean I hurt your feelings, man? No, some but, stuff, it'd be like, if if, if like if I come across a motherfucker that I've seen on the internet talk about me, it's like, they try to speak to me. I'm like, I don't fuck with you. I've seen what you had to say about me. Mm -hmm. Like, it'd be shit like that, but... If it's like, I be seeing all kind of people talk shit. I just remember they face and I just, I, you won't me, I ain't gonna fuck with you. Like, that's how you feel. For me, it just be, it be, it be like this, right? Everything you getting right now, right? You ask for this, right? You pray for this, right? Yeah. You wanted the big change, you wanted the nice cars, you wanted to go everywhere, motherfuckers know you. Yeah. You wanted to be picking up them back ends that you picking up. You wanted all this. Right. 
this would come with the game too. Yeah, exactly. People talking about you, people yeah. criticizing you, people yeah. looking, everybody always watching. But this what you prayed for. Mm -hmm. If you did this not what you wanted, why you ain't gonna be a registered nurse? Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about none of this. Shit. Yeah, you could have kept doing here. Doing, you could have kept doing it. So, so and a baby. So, and I'm, I'm not necessarily talking to you. I'm talking to the game in general. To the this would come with this. Yeah. I got a different disrespect to me talking shit about me on my but social you ain't media. Them, right? No, because see that's what I'm saying. G. This shit come in all shapes, sizes, and levels, bro. I don't. I got. I don't have nowhere near a like big fan base. I don't even think I have a small fan base yet, bro. And ever so often, if not every day, every other day, I still got somebody talking crazy about me, talking down on me, disrespecting me in the comments. That's just how it comes. That's just how it is. But today, which is crazy that I'm even watching this, today, I, it hit me when Lil Yachty said, like, bro, you know, if you just get off the internet, you don't see none of that shit. Like, that's, that shit is internet. Literally, internet. You get on there, it's the bullshit, bullshit. You can get off, it's a whole, it's an actual real world where you don't deal with none of that hate, bro. So that shit is just crazy. That shit, if, if you gonna upload something on the internet, expect that shit. Expect people to disagree. Expect them to call it, watch your name. All that. Now, when you get bigger, it just get worse. It just get worse. Absolutely. I know they coochie button. Right. They really bitches. Right. Because if you wake up and you decide that you gonna disrespect a that you don't know that you never met right. that you ain't got no issues with right you a coochie but that's man. all i be saying you a bitch man for real and a lot of times we this shit, in, especially we when we talk about yeah. me i'll be like he was a whole nigga. what do why do you got an opinion on what why i'm in your why my name in your mouth yeah, you a whole man to me, like. you a whole grown man mm -hmm. and it's and it's like i always tell him i'm gonna tell you this haters hey, is your marketing team let them work Cause they gonna rap and they gonna talk. They marketing you, rapper. We we don't look at it like uh -huh. that. But these motherfuckers marketing you, and you gotta also see, we live in a time now where everybody they they created this thing on social media where you could come up with beefing with a motherfucking celebrity. Y'all don't even know I needed this shit today. Right now, like right now, y'all don't even know I need to hear this shit today, bro. Cause it's been getting a little wow, little wow. But you don't even know. And hoping they respond and tag you and say that's like oh man she, they said something about me yeah, well, they, they think they lit. i'm lit Price, i was just sitting there talking to him i'm like he actually really cool like some of these people like yeah they be really from the hood you could tell they come from the same shit you come from they be really just cool they don't even be on no celebrity shit. like right. yeah he was he was real cool when i met him outside looking in two chains a little side i fuck with two chains so i ain't go cap bro but I met a lot of people that for me. I know I said that like I met them and shit, but I'm one of the people who I'm a real outside looking in person. So if he seen cool and shit, then I'm like, he seen cool. If I don't feel the vibe through this shit, then like, right. yeah, he was, he was real cool when I met him. But I met a lot of people that for me. Yeah. And I, but I know the ones that, man, they just for me because I'm turned right now. Yeah. Turned and up. I know the ones that's, okay, yeah. they come from what I come from. They understand me for real, for real. Like, right. I fuck with them. Yeah. Right. This episode of me and I was working for this one in the short episode of Top Shit Day. This one is some of the most. Oh, we got some more. What's this for this Sprite? This is the you win. They hit up I'm... Sprite? <laughs> okay. Keep it all the way real. A part of you winning is your authenticity. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Relatable. People love to see. See, this is, this is the process in the ghetto. When you coming up and you struggling, people love to see you come up. Yeah. Oh, they love to see you. They love to see you go from nothing to something. Yeah, okay. But then when you get to something, they love to cheer your ass back down to oh, the no, bottom. Right? Oh, they think they better than us. What the fuck you mean? They just got some money now. They ain't still the same person. Yeah, exactly. So that's just the ways of the ghetto. Where country music, they cheer you to the top, and then they your motherfucking fans for all the way. For all the way. My f roll with you. They be right there. They uh -huh. 82, you 82. They right at your yeah. time. Sing on down the line. Because <laughs> honey, is it time to go? Cause you buddy. That's true, saying? though. My f a motherfucker will love you this year in hip-hop. <laughs> yeah. And next year, be talking about f that bitch. Exactly. I don't f with that bitch like the way. 
you saying that like it's something personal. You don't even know that bitch. What she did to exactly. you? Like I see she, them doing a lot of artists like that, and they be telling me like, "Yo, time coming, red. They they off with you now." But wait till you get late in your career, cause I I ain't even gonna name people. I see them doing it too. They just be bringing all the female rappers down. And I guess since I came up, now they want to be on my bandwagon. But soon as the Glorilla, bro, it's hundred percent Glorilla. Everybody was rocking with Glorilla. Sexy Red came out. Now she surpassed Glorilla. Glorilla better. Everybody was just rocking with folks, literally. And I don't know. That shit, that shit weird how they did Glorilla. I ain't gonna care, bro. That gotta be exactly who she talking about. And all the female rappers down. And I guess since I came up, now they wanna be on my bandwagon. But as soon as the next bitch come in the game, y'all gonna be saying sexy red. Yeah. That's good that she know that on my soul. Cause she can prepare for it. It won't hurt her. It won't mess up her self-esteem. None of that. Cause like I knew y'all motherfuckers was fake on my soul. I already know how this go. And you know what's, what's crazy about it? A lot of people be capping, they just be online. And one thing I learned about, if you know everybody say we love Sexy Red today, they go, oh yeah, we love, they say fuck it tomorrow, everybody just, cause people don't know which way to go. Right. Uh -huh. Cause right, right now we got an un, a unloyal and other dedicated fan base, whereas though, it's, you got people that might fuck with you just because you hot. They don't fuck with you cause they like, I'm, I love this bitch yeah, to she's death. Like, yeah. like they gonna be, because if you look at it, and then you see people that be c complaining and talking all this and I'm like, Y'all capping, cause I didn't see, I done been in corporate events with all with all them corporate girls, college educated chicks is working for YouTube and, and and Twitter and this company and and Google and Facebook, all this stuff at black tech events. And they and they go the f crazy when your song come on. Right. They snap <laughs> out. Right. Like all these chicks with degrees and all sophisticated. Yeah. I'm better, the the, the, the better than you chicks. I ain't, yeah. I, I'm, mm, mm, no. that's, come but, on, they be shaking their ass. I'm like, boy, you go off, go right. off. I, mean, I do that. Go off, baby. I do that to people, though. I be like, yeah, I see you. Go ahead, go the fuck off. You know, I one of my songs or something? Yeah. yeah. I do that to people. It bring, it bring, see, what I like about it is I bring that, that out of them. I done been in a situation, I think, the time I called you. And I was in this, in this, at this, at this event, this shit came on. And I was happy because I seen a real side of him. I'm like, yeah, go off, baby. I see. Yeah. Shake that ass. Because they was in there. He was in there, out. too. Shake that ass. They, they was, was in screaming. There they was screaming, shake that ass low. He was in there. No, get the f out of here. He was f***ing it up, I yeah. You nut. <laughs> God. I was in there, and I was like, I was like, yeah, OK. Hey, they, no, because they brought the real out of him. Yeah. Oh, y'all. Hey, imagine if Wallow really tried to talk to a bitch and Gilly acting like that, bro. He go out the bro. You need to chill when the bitches around. You study through it all that shit. Like I don't really go that way, bro. You know I don't go that way. I'm trying to get this bitch number. You playing? I'm trying to get smashed tonight. All right, let's get crazy. Uh -uh. Let's get no, cause they What's snap. Oh, you think about some? Right. Right. You ain't right. I'm just saying they snapped out. I'm trying like, to get smashed. What? <laughs> man, man, now I'm like, okay. Have fun. Oh, I, I you know what? Well, you nice funny. Night. But see, the fake sophisticated chicks would be the ones. Oh man, For they me, love it. They sit around. They be at the bar. You know. Crazy. Like, yeah, I don't really f what, but then they be out as soon as they get their look in and the music come uh, on now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you forgot you said you ain't f with it at the cookout. Bam, got you. Got you. Look at you, forgot what you said at the cookout. Now they got your hands on your knees, huh? Uh huh. Honey. Like that. So, do you? I bring, I'm telling you, I bring that out of people. Like, yes, you, do. you brought it out of him. <laughs> got it. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Right like, out of Yeah, I know how they be trying to say summer, summer walker shy and yeah. stuff. But when she get around me, all that's out the window. Like, and she even said it, because we'll be around our friends, and these the same group of friends she done hung out with when I wasn't around. They like, bitch, how come every time Red come around, you want to turn up? But when you with us, you have an act Because you make people comfortable because yeah. you're authentic. You, you. If I go around the way, I'm going to see you in a, every hood in America. I'm going to see you. Yeah. And believe it or not, a lot, of people, be to say. A lot of people <laughs> try to tear it down. But one thing about you, Sexy, a person to say this, so many women can live through you. They be on your page and they live through you because the they might want to do, they're afraid to do, and they're shit afraid they to do They might want to say. So they looking yeah. at you. They looking at you like, damn, I'm going to a show and turn up because I really mess with her because I live through her, but I'm afraid to be her. I don't want to be judged. I don't want people. She got enough heart to be judged. So you they superwoman in, in that way. Fuck with everybody saying. Because right. right. at the end of the day, it's eight billion people on the planet. Some people won't fuck with you, and some people ain't. Exactly. But at the end of the day, the people that don't fuck with you. I don't see you at the beginning of the month when I got to pay all my family and all my friends' bills. Right. Where the Fuck is y'all at then? Yeah. So a lot of times that shit don't even matter. It and, don't matter. You know and I mean? This episode of me and I was worth a game. Pop you your shit, Wallow. He get it. Well, well of course he get it. They ass ain't around. They can't pay. Take care. Of you take care of your family. Do what you trying to get, get you know, to the top. You sitting around. You ain't doing shit, bro. Fuck your opinion. It does not matter, bro. Fuck the hate. It does not matter. Okay. That's how you feel. Bye. Go hit him up. It don't matter. It don't. See, let me just tell you something. 
they love that raw, authentic shit. Yeah. You know how many times, he know. You know how many times I do a post on my gram where I'm just giving up some game mm -hmm. in the rawest form, and I get calls from these motherfuckers that's worth 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 million, and they talking about, man, I wish I could do that, man. But yeah. I, just, I wish I, wish I, could, I could say, say that, that, man. Yeah. Boy, I love you, man. You just give it up so. Yeah. You can say that. Exactly. Freedom of speech. Be you yourself. wish you could be yourself. Exactly. You can't be yourself. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm always be myself. That's that's the only person I know how to be. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. You know when you meet Gilly, you know what you get. Exactly. It ain't you no, get ass. You gonna meet another ass cool. when he meets you. That's right. cool, but you know what you get. But you know that though. You know that. I know that. Like, you said that like you agree with that. I know. Don't throw that out there, Ray. You right? But you know what you get. But you know that though. He's the nut ass. You know. Both y'all is crazy. Oh, she tried to do it. She it in. She tried to both y'all nut ass. That was a nice way of saying it. We as a rap group, we be too nuts, no peace, huh? Yeah, that's what she's. My favorite video of y'all is when y'all went to the rain trying to beat me. Yo, you know what's crazy? Funny as F. We said, What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Paulus couldn't take it no more. It's getting rained on. No, 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 no. You know what's crazy? I was doing a video this morning. I'm in Philly. I'm doing a video, man. So this boy, this African brother, come up. Hey, I'm doing a video. I'm like, Yo, man, pull over the car, man. I'm doing my video. Right. So he jumped out the car. I get Ooh. to doing my, I had to restart my, sh I'm doing my video. Yeah. He over there. Yeah. He fed him up Listen, three times. I said, I said, Yo, my man, chill, my man. So I do my job. Yeah, man. I'm gonna, uh, didn't I tell you with that dumb ass? Sit the f down. So I flag him. I said, come on, snap it out. somebody. For real? You want me to work you out out here? I'm working right now. Right. What you want with this hype ass <laughs> FaceTime or somebody? Didn't I tell you I'm working, man? I'm that fan Sit shit. your goofy ass down somewhere. Right. And I was like, damn, I had to it's catch respect. myself. No, I, it's respect. I had a flashback of when I was a young man. I didn't know what was going on. I was, really, I was like, damn, I ain't, I ain't who I'm. I'm like, cuz, was I tripping? But then no. I snapped because he f my old money. Would. He was no, playing. I told him, dog, you ain't got that beast in you no more. That African would have worked you out out there all on camera. <laughs> no, believe it or not. <laughs> he should take for it to work you the f out to realize done. No, she no. was done. Oh, it's respect Cause, thing, though. Like, we human, too. We would have figured it out, but he wouldn't He wouldn't, He wouldn't. have had a chance today. Oh, you would have figured him out? He wouldn't have had a chance in life. As soon as he had the one upside your shit, you would have, hold on. The and the hospital was right there. He'd have been cool. We ain't got I'm there. I'm chill. I'm my off, man. I was it's my people, man. Nah, fuck that. Nah, I'm my African brothers. We human too. It's respecting. Like, but, I don't like when people approach me all crazy. Let me tell you something. Wild. You know when he get off parole, twenty forty eight. He ain't going back to jail for shit. You said when he get off who? Parole, parole twenty forty eight. Damn. Damn. He ain't going That's back to jail up. for nothing. Now I'm a, we making some things happen, but I'm gonna say this. That's you were just ready Damn. to say something. Damn. Twenty forty eight, bro. Gilly gotta be capping, bro. Twenty forty eight. That's a long ass time, bro. Shit. Yeah, he can't do shit. Right. Uh, what? About how people approach you. How did that feel with the people just think they can just come up to you anyway? I don't like that. Don't feel like you that comfortable to come up and talk to me. Like, I'm still a bitch off the streets. Like, you, this is not that. It's cool sometimes if you on some, hey, sexy, on some nice, I be like, okay, see, you see, that was cool. But when you running up to me all in my face, putting cameras in my face, you be like, bitch, how you know I, I'm not, wasn't just crying, I feel like, oh, they like, you got my face. Or when they be screaming, I don't like that. Like, I be too calm for somebody to be yelling all in my face, like, I don't like that. Now that you are pregnant, you be eating a bunch of crazy shit. I been eating a lot of crazy shit, but I be eating, yeah. What you but be eating? I be just eating everything. Crazy Give me some pickles with hot sauce. What the nah, fuck? Nah, that ain't crazy. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy to you? Yeah. It's you wouldn't normally eat that crazy. shit. Yes, I would. You would? Is fried pickles crazy to you? No, I'm just saying, but uh, I'm just saying, what's what what you eating right now that you normally somewhere? wouldn't eat? That right now you like, oh, I'll be craving for this shit. Nothing for real, cause everything I've been eating, I'm just eating it way more. Like I've been eating weird shit because I go somewhere else, they don't eat what we eat. But I've been eating a lot of noodles lately. That ain't weird. What? What, what? No, that ain't weird. What's going on? Oodles and noodles, what flavor? Um, I Look like at him all noodles. shit. Oh, no, no, I eat the shrimp. You took, you took him right to jail. The Look at him. Wait, what's that? What flavor she said? I been eating a lot of noodles lately. That ain't weird. What? What, what? No, that ain't weird. What's going on? Oodles and noodles, what flavor? Um, I Look like at him all noodles. shit. Oh, no, no, I eat the shrimp. You, you took him right to jail. The Look at him. The shrimp and the chili joints. Green back. Ooh, them joints be popping. But we got a little Chinese restaurant where, you know. Chicken noodles, bro. I hate beef. I ain't never had shrimp. Beef is fucking horrible though, bro. I just don't understand how people you different breed if you eat beef noodles. Mm -hmm. Look, China me. 
And we be eating the, um, duck noodles and stuff. Oh, you gonna be playing? Stuff like that. Oh, so you done stepped it up now. I mean, no, nah, that's I been eating it. But I'm saying, I just love noodles. Like it could be some spaghetti, fettuccine, whatever kind of noodle, I eat it. When that sex tape dropped and you woke up, what you was thinking? I ain't wake up, I was woke. You was woke? Happened. Yeah, everybody was calling me, but I don't usually answer my phone. So I'm like, why is everybody calling me? Then I finally just answered, and then they said that. I'm like, what, bitch? You lying? I was shocked. I was shocked. Was you mad? Hell yeah, I was mad. I was hot, like hot. You was hot. mad at the Hell yeah. It was an accident, but nah, I was pissed. Like, words can't even explain. Let's see how mad you was. You gave him some more, though. No. Nah. Oh, damn, that was the last time? <laughs> no, nah, but I ain't, I ain't <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I ain't. What? What, bro? She didn't give no more, but that wasn't the last time. What? Oh, damn, that was the last time? No, nah, but I ain't, I ain't <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't talking to him away after that. Like, I knew it was an accident because me and him was just both just sitting there like. But I ain't talked to him after a while after that. And he like, man, you gonna cut me off at the accident? Cause we both was right there, so we know what happened. Yeah. But it was like, mm -mm, that's too much plan. Like you messy, sloppy. That's real. Mm -hmm. well, he was knocked out though. He was sleeping good too. <laughs> I wasn't even sleep. <laughs> the fact that Gilly, the fact that Gilly, <laughs> Gilly is confirmed, but he seen that shit, bro. Out though, he was sleeping good too. <laughs> I wasn't even sleep. <laughs> I wasn't sleep. You wasn't even sleep? No. It was still going on. Then that's when I'm like, okay, everybody steady calling me. Let me see what's going on. I find answer, and that's what happened. That's when I found out. Well, play as fuck up, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't yeah, mad no more. I was mad at first. Well, I ain't seen it, though. She was. It was actually something going on, right? Because well, he said she was knocked out, bro. What the fuck, bro? First, but now, I'm just like, my page went up. Everything went up. All right, now. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to stop you right there, bro. Like I said, if y'all want part two, let me know that you want part two, man. But see, uh, that's why I said I don't mind watching her like on some interview shit because it's not... I don't know. She just It's just regular on the interviews. I'm not... I don't really listen to, to the music. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got shit against her too much. But y'all yeah, uh, let me know what y'all think of this. If you want the part two, I already said that. And catch me on that reaction.